Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911 back again with another statue unboxing. Um, as you know, I am now slowly accumulating, collecting the Iron Studios 110 scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, regular edition. Um, I have the comic book edition. Um, all right, now I'm slowly replacing them in my display with the colored ones. And today, Raphael. Uh, got delivered. So uh, I think it was like last week Leonardo got delivered and you can see that he's much brighter and he really pops in the display and that's what I want in the display and the comic book edition I'm going to put somewhere else in the basement or upstairs. Uh, but when displayed I want it to be kind of more eye-catching and drawn to whereas the comic book edition ones is more for me because it's something I really really appreciate um, growing up with the comic books. All right so Gonna get my knife here. We're gonna open up Raphael, and then after uh, when we do close-ups, I'm gonna take Raphael out of the display. We're gonna have them side by side, and we'll compare the colors and details. Details are usually similar. Um, I find that maybe they had several different molds, so there's like some discrepancies. But uh, we'll see when we get them all out and side by side. All right. Uh, this one came all the way from Australia from DX Collectibles. I uh, got hit with a little bit of duties and taxes, but it is here. It came in four days, which was really, really awesome. I only paid $10 more from regular shipping to get it uh, expressed. All right, so here we are. This is the art box. Um, Leonardo's was blue. Do I have it here? I don't know where it is. <laughs> um, and Raphael's is red, even down here is red. And with the comic book edition ones, they were all the same colors across the board. All right, and that's that. I don't think there's an edition size on this. Nope, just says Raphael BDS art scale one tenth, and then the, the product code. But uh, yeah, this is in actual perfect condition. My Leonardo came with like a dented corner. Uh, this one is in pristine shape, the box at least, and even the, the shipper. Okay, let's open this up. This is all sealed, unopened, unchecked. I mean, he's gonna be very similar to the comic book edition, just uh, the skin tone will be different because they both have red bandanas, right? Okay, let's put this down here and let's open this thing up. Where'd I put my knife now? Here we are. And truth be told, when I was buying um, the comic book edition, because these were all sold out everywhere and I couldn't really find them, um, you know, within Canada or the US, I think to go all the way to Australia. Um, I did get a little bit of cold feet because I was like, I really like the comic book edition, but I mean, I'm worried about all my friends asking me, it's like, why do they all have red bandanas? Um, and you know, I wanted to cancel my order through Iron Studios, but I'm glad I didn't because once they showed up, I'm like, wow, these are amazing. I really like the bases compared to uh, the regular bases. Just, I like that dull, grimy look and it's more silver versus the reds and the bricky color. Um, but yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get to that once we do these side by side. Okay, opening this thing up. This is all you see here. We're gonna do this like really quick and easy instead of doing like close-ups uh, of the over top unboxing. But first we'll do the base. Well, the base is pretty nice too. And then even the Mauser here is like a different, like more of a bluish gray versus like a silver in the comic book edition. Well, yeah. It's quite a difference actually. And I like the, the ooze or the sewage color more on the uh, comic book editions versus this one. 
All right, so we'll just put that down. Well, actually, I'll show you guys what this looks like. Ooh, it's a little chipped here, unless that's styrofoam. Who knows? That is more visible, the cowabunga. You'd think that would be on Mikey's statue, and then this is where you peg in all the little rebars. Yeah. Okay, so that's the base there. And then these are the little rebar pieces in a little baggie. This is the the pipeline wheel or valve wheel. Show you guys that. Nothing, nothing super special. Where does this go again? I forget. <laughs> I think it goes on the side here. Yeah, well, we'll do that for the assembly part of it. And then this is one of the arms, this is the other arm, holding the metal size. Pretty cool, metal. like the color. This color is pretty cool too. It's kind of like a, almost like an olive army green. And then, of course, Raph right here. How do I get you out of there? Don't want to grab him from his bandana, obviously. color definitely pops more. Huh. Oh, here we go. This is Raph here. They went a little heavy on the paint here. On the comic one, uh, it's much more subdued. Uh, that That's a little much. It's like they, they heavily paintbrushed that in, like those dots. There you go. That's a wrap. All right. So we're going to take the camera off. We're going to bring, actually, we're going to bring the tripod closer. We're going to assemble this guy. And while I do that, I'm going to get uh, comic edition wrap out of the display. And then we'll do some side-by-sides after, all right? So be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, here we have all the pieces here. This is the base, raft, some of the little bits of rebar. Those were really annoying to put in. Um, don't know if I'll do those on camera or off camera. But uh, yeah, let's put in this wheel here. Doesn't really peg in, it just kind of push fits in. There's no uh, key or anything like um, th like it's supposed to go on a specific way. Uh, this is Raph here. He just pegs in like so. And just like that. And then we have his one arm here. And then we have his, no, that, it's, oh, it's kind of loose in his hand. I felt something move. And that is his other arm there. Let's see how he looks through the camera lens. Oh yeah. At this angle, this doesn't look that bad. When up close, it looks kind of like a, a little more than than I'd like to see. And then of course, these are the little bits of rebar that you have to like stick in. And I remember sticking it behind that, this, the ooze or the, the sewage here um, was pretty annoying to do, but uh, sticking it into the sides here is fine. 
but I'll, I'll demonstrate that right now. There's a whole bunch of these. Um, one side is flatter to install. Yeah. So let's see what we can do here. They kind of just push in, they don't, and then pressure fit in. You don't want to push too hard because you can break them. That hole is actually made a little oversized. I think these are just drilled after the fact because you can see some chipping around the paint where it's been done. Uh, but these are actually pegging in a lot easier than the comic edition. And they fit more secure. This one was kind of annoying too, right here. Um, I had to use tweezers before. But yeah, as you peg them in, they kind of like whiten the area around it because wherever they drilled, um, it's kind of weakened the area also around it. So you're getting some uh, some polystone chipping there. That one actually went in really, really well. That was really hard for me to do on the Comic Edition. Where am I missing some rebar here? One, two. There's one more behind this, the ooze or sewage. Did they give me one extra? <laughs> no way. They don't give extras on these. Unless they accidentally threw it in there. Oh, these are way easier to peg. There is no way I could have done this on the, well, there wasn't a, I, I didn't do it on the, uh, the comic edition. I don't see any other holes. I think they gave me an extra. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'll have to check on the other raft uh, once we have them side by side. But yes, this is Raphael regular edition, Iron Studios 110 scale BDS, art scale, and uh, I think he looks pretty good. The colors, the color is definitely brighter. Um, it's still dark, but um, brighter compared to to the comic edition. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab him out of the display there. Actually, I've already grabbed him out, obviously, because he's missing. <laughs> And uh, we'll put them on the turntable and we'll do some side-by-sides. All right, so be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Here they are side-by-side. -side. I figured out by looking at this one where that last piece of rebar went. And it went right here in this corner. So, um, or is it right there? There and there. And there. Oh, my goodness. I don't have them side-by-side. -side. <laughs> I thought I did, but now when I'm looking at them bird's eye, view I don't so there we go so right there and right there all right so this is them together and already you can see the color difference is kind of crazy um, yeah this looks more of like a grayish green and where this is like I said earlier was like more of like an olive army green uh, the pads are very similar in color, just maybe a little bit lighter, but the skin tones is completely different. And uh, where they put the dots is a little different too. So this one has the three dots there. I think Leo even had the three together. Um, and he only has the one one on the, on the shoulder muscle there. And you can see, I really like the slime color here versus this. This is just too cartoony. No, not, it's too toy-like looking and uh, same with the the mauser here even though that does match the color in the cartoons this i like i like the more realistic so to speak color on there 
And yeah, you can see like the differences here. This is a much more silver pipe. And then um, these parts are relatively the same. This one's just a little darker. This one has a little more silver, more weathered in it, more metallic. Uh, as like this, the pipes are more metallic. Um, this is more like rusty kind of look to it. Um, what I do notice is they put some gloss inside the pipe there, like there's like water draining and there's none done in that. It's just dry. Um, you can kind of see that here in this pipe. It's kind of wet looking and this one's just kind of dry. I don't know if they forgot to put anything in it, but all these pipes have like a clear gloss in them and uh, the comic book doesn't. And then we'll go to the back here. Um, you can see the differences. And the brick, more of a red brick and more gray. Kaobanga is more subdued in just kind of like a dull gray and this one's a grayish blue. Um, the pinks look the same. And yeah, there's definitely more detail in the rubble on the top here. Um, this one's a lot flatter and smoother. Uh, it's definitely not the paint because the divots in these are way deeper than they are here. Um, and again, they could be differences in different molds that they use, because they're not just gonna use one mold to cast a bunch of these. They're gonna probably use like, I don't know, five to 10 molds. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, that's what I'm just assuming in a, in a, in a uh, economical standpoint and time, time frame wise. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're gonna turn these guys to the side and then we'll do some side differences. So we'll just uh, turn him this way. And we'll turn him facing the same way so we can get the same sides compared at the same time. Uh, that's the sides there. Let's see, much more silver, silver, more kind of like rusty um, definitely more, you can really see the stone more here because they kind of did more of a wash on this to get really the details of all the cracks and crevices and, and the roughness, uh, looks more smoother, more clay like here. Even, even with a little more of the black wash makes this, this pipe here, this area right here, way more detailed than that one. Uh, you get more depth, I guess. Um, so maybe that, that, that falls the same with here, but really it feels different. Again, maybe a different mold, All right? So that's that side. And then this side here, now you can see like the wet sewage pipe in there. And that one's just kind of like dry. Um, I really do like the bases more on these over this. And you can see the Ninja star here. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I was just uh, unboxing and comparing them. But uh, they both look great when I'm looking at them. Uh, just for the statue display with all these bright colors behind you, uh, behind the statue here. Uh, I, I'd like to have Raph here. I'm just kidding. Well, they're both loose on. I like uh, Raph here. Um, the regular edition and then again the comic edition they'll kind of be in their own display somewhere else so kind of like a standalone thing because uh, not many people come down to the basement uh, when they're over so if i had it upstairs like people would just see it and it's a good conversation piece and i'll still have to explain why everybody's bandanas are red um but yes uh the regular edition wraps bandana is actually a little bit brighter maybe it's the same red but this one's just definitely more weathered yeah so, ooh, I just kind of noticed that there's a, there's a little foot tattoo <laughs> or mark on, on this mouse right here. And uh, let's see on the other one. It's there, but it's done in black instead of, instead of red. And that's something I would not have noticed uh, because I just thought maybe it was like, like a weathering mark versus an actual footprint. Because now when I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah, now I see the toes. But 
this one is definitely more obviously visible because it's in red and then in the dark gray or black on that one but yeah little subtleties that you see and uh yeah they're both great statues so i mean if you can't get a hold of this this is like if you wanted to get the regular edition these comic book editions are awesome too <laughs> and uh i'm keeping both in the collection it's just so great all right, so that's it. That's my quick and uh, simple unboxing assembly and review comparison. And uh, yeah, hopefully when the other ones trickle in, uh, we'll get to those. Uh, hopefully, I think one's going to be delivered today, so maybe I'll do another one. Or maybe they're both being delivered today. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, please like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Which one do you think is better? Are you more of a diehard comic book fan or are you a cartoon fan or are you just a fan of just the different uh, skin tones so it doesn't look so um, similar I guess yeah but that's it for now catch you guys in the next one peace